Welcome to the video lecture on time invariance of a system. In this video, we'll consider a continuous time system y of t is equal to x of t square. The task is to determine is this system time invariant or time variant. For that, we'll consider the system first y of t is equal to x of t square. So as per the definition of time invariance, a, a shift in the input must lead to an identical shift in the output. So if that is that holds good, this, we say that the system is time invariant. So to test with, we'll consider the input x of t. So before we start the operation, we'll try to understand the operate the nature of the system. So x of t is the input we are feeding that to a system, and that gets you the output y of t which is equal to x of t square. So the nature of the system is it squares the time t. So whatever we fit in it squares the time t. So now what we do is we'll consider a shift in the input first. So first I'll consider a shift in the input. I'll consider x of t minus t naught. This is a shift in the input. So I'll give this to a system of operator h and I will get the output as y of t. So now y of t is equal to h of x of t minus t naught. So this is fed to a system. So we already know that the system squares the time t. So I will get the output as x of t square minus t naught. So this is what I get the output y of t. It is x of t square minus t naught. It is squaring the time t. So this is the first half. In the second half we will consider a shift in the output. So I will delay the output by t naught, y of t minus t naught. For that I already have the expression for y of t which is equal to x of t square. So in that expression to get y of t minus t naught I have to replace t with t minus t naught so that I will get x of t square is the input. So what I do is to get y of t minus t naught I replace every t with t minus t naught. So I will get t minus t naught whole square. So this is what I get. So this is the second half. So by comparing these two we can say that the expression for the uh, two different outputs are not same. Hence we can say that the given system is not time invariant or we also call this as time variant. 